Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. Today, let me show you how to make a simple respirometer and use it to determine the RQ of an organism. A respirometer is a device used to measure the rate of respiration of a living organism. You can make a simple respirometer by using a boiling tube or a syringe. Here's how to do it. Firstly, weigh 10 grams of soda lime granules and place them into the boiling tube. Soda lime is a carbon dioxide absorbent. Place wire mesh or muslin cloth into the tube to separate them from the organism you are going to place in the tube later. Then, put in the organism you would like to investigate. For example, germinating mung beans. Close the boiling tube by using a rubber bung with a capillary tube. Make sure it is airtight. Dip the end of the capillary tube into colored liquid such as food dye and allow the liquid to enter. The food dye in the capillary tube acts as our manometer fluid. You will observe that the manometer fluid starts moving towards the boiling tube. This is because when the germinating mung beans are respiring, they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide produced is absorbed by soda lime. So, the volume of gas in the respirometer starts to reduce. Hence, the air inside the capillary tube is drawn towards the boiling tube. To measure the rate of respiration, you need to measure the distance traveled by the fluid in a fixed time. Then, convert the value into the volume of oxygen uptake by multiplying the distance to the area of the capillary tube. Divide the volume of oxygen taken up by time. This is the rate of respiration. Before we talk about how to use a respirometer to determine RQ, let's first understand what RQ is. RQ, or respiratory quotient, is the volume of carbon dioxide produced divided by the volume of oxygen used during respiration. The value reveals the nature of the substrate being respired by the organism at that moment. Here are what the values indicate. If RQ is equal to 1, carbohydrate is being used by the organism as the respiratory substrate. If it is protein, RQ is about 0.8 to 0.9, while 0.7 is for lipids. Bear in mind that an organism usually uses a mixture of the different respiratory substrates. So, the value is influenced by the relative contribution of fat, protein, and carbohydrates rather than just one. Now, let's see how we can use a respirometer to determine RQ. Firstly, run the experiment as mentioned in the first part of this video to find out the volume of oxygen used by the organism in a fixed time. For example, in one minute. Make three replicates and calculate the mean value. Then, repeat the experiment, but this time, replace the soda lime with an inert substance such as glass beads. The reading of this second experiment is a result of both oxygen use and carbon dioxide release. Find the difference between the first and second test, which indicates the volume of carbon dioxide produced. Let me give you an example. Let's say we use a capillary tube with an inner diameter of 0.02 mm for the test. The radius is 0.01 mm. So, the area is 0.0003 mm square. When we do the first test, in the presence of soda lime, the manometer fluid moves by 200 mm in one minute. The volume of oxygen used by the organism is 0.06 mm cube. When we repeat the test without using soda lime, the distance traveled by manometer fluid is 50 mm. The difference between the values from the first test and this one is 150 mm. By using this value, we know that the carbon dioxide released by the organism in one minute is 0.045 mm3. RQ is equal to 0.045 divided by 0.06, which gives us 0.75. By comparing the value to the standard RQ values, we can conclude that the organism mainly uses lipid as the respiratory substrate and possibly some carbohydrates. To a lesser extent, 
protein may have been used, but it is less likely as protein is considered the secondary source of energy. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.